Hello everyone. In this episode, we're actually not really going to be doing any games at all. I'm actually just going to show you guys how I've been making the audio spectrums I've been uploading a little bit lately. So, um, basically what you're going to need for this is just After Effects, Adobe After Effects. You won't need any mods whatsoever. No matter of fact, it even works on the trial version, I'm pretty sure. So, what we're going to do is first you're going to need audio. This will work for a video file or just a pure audio mp3 file or a... IFF file. So I'm going to take my frag out right here. This is just audio. I'm going to put it in a projects section right here. It's just non copyright audio that I found online so that I don't get in trouble for uploading it because um, I would like to monetize this video. You can upload um, copyrighted music, but most of the time you will not be able to um, monetize it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this down into our project down here and that should make it the exact size we need now your background will probably be black but mine's green because that's just the setting I made it because I do a lot of green screen editing and I just made it that way so that's easier for me to work anyway now what we're gonna do to make the background different is we're gonna add in a background I just have this one pre-prepared it's just orange because I like orange if you guys had not noticed but my name is blue slime which is just weird anyway we we'll put that on there, make it nice and big. So that's our background, just like that. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go on here, right click, new solid layer. We're just going to make it a black solid, but we're going to name it audio. And then OK. There we go. And now. It looks black, but it's actually just a layer, so you can move it around if you want, but don't do that because I'm just kind of showing you as an example. Anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and go in effect. We're going to go to generate, oops, audio spectrum. Now, if you look closely, you can see some little pink dots right there on my screen. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to make that connect to the audio layer, which is frag out. In my case, it's frag out, and yours would be whatever audio you put in. There we go. You can kind of see a little bit of the audio I'm starting to catch on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the maximum height here. I'm going to go in the middle of the song so I can see areas where it gets biggest. You're going to want to find the biggest area with the line that's the biggest, right about there. Looks pretty good for me. Oh, right there. There we go. And we're going to I'm going to go to the maximum height right here. And we're going to bring that up like that however big you want it. I'm gonna make it pretty big like that and then if you want less lines we're gonna do well actually if you want more lines and less like really main lines we're gonna do is you're gonna go right here into frequency bands and you're gonna kick that up to I like it around 400 and maybe even 500 I'm gonna put this at 500 or just about 500 doesn't need to be perfect then bring the softness up to about 80 that's what I keep it at and the thickness I actually bring up to about 23 or so there we go. Because I like mine to look, it almost looks like shiny or, um, like it looks very clean looking, in my opinion. It like glows almost. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the end frequency right here down to about 400. And that'll make that base area bigger. No matter of fact, we might even bring it down a little bit farther to 350 for this case. Yours may change. And you may have to go down a little farther if you have more bass and you want it to look a little bigger. Or if you want to have a little less bass and kind of show more of the whole general song. And then you can make that number higher. Anyway, what we're going to do next is we're going to, um, like, I'm actually going to show you what it looks like so far. So, in order to do that, you're going to be um, playing it off your RAM. In order to do that, you can just press space bar. And that'll start loading it. And if it's loading very slow, you can go right here and you can select the resolution of it. I have mine at quarter because um you don't really you aren't really looking at much. And also I'm recording, so it really takes an awful lot of my performance on my computer. So I'd rather it would run smoothly. So we're gonna go ahead and look at what we have so far. Okay, that's pretty good, but what we're going to do is we're going to go right here when it goes like that. 
I want that personally. I like that area to look really, really big. So I'm actually going to bring this 350 down to about 250, maybe even just 200. Because I really want that to look big. Nice. So then we're able to look at this. Now, if you're just going to have it like that, like just this line right here, you might not want the number to be as um as low. You might even want to be at the normal 2000 because then it, you're able to see more of the spectrum. You're able to see some of the other um, sound waves. Sega! Like when he says the words and stuff like that. But anyway, but if you want to make it in a circle like we're going to do in this, you're going to want to head and um, bring it down to about 200 or whatever base type thing you're looking for. But I want the base, so I'm going to keep it about like that. Now what we're going to do in order to make it look like a circle, for example, like in Trap Nation, what we're going to do to make it look like a circle is we're going to go up here into the, um, it'll normally be a rectangle. Uh, there we go. And you're just going to hit Q until it turns into an ellipse tool. After that, you're going to go down here, select your audio, and then you're going to turn on actions, title action safe, which I already have turned on. So you just turn it on and off by hitting it. You're going to go in the middle, right like that. You're going to hold down, and then you're going to hit command and then shift. And you should draw a perfect circle from the center. Like that. Then what we're going to do is you're going to go down here, and where it says add, you're going to hit that and change it to none. And then up here in the um, effect controls for audio, you're going to go into path and mask one. That should bring it around the circle. Then on side options, we're going to change that to side B, so it's only on the outside. And that allows us to put in a um, circle image on the inside. So I am going to bring in my blue slime um, music in here. And I'm going to bring that like so. There we go. Whoop, what I do? There we go. Select it. Oops. Oh, I still have the um the ellipse tool selected. I need the mouse. There we go. Make it a little larger. This is not gonna be perfect. I normally spend a lot of time on this to be honest. Probably too much time in perfecting it. But there we go. Good enough for the example. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna go to the audio. And this is where we are going to be able to change the color. Just select the color. And I'm going to have the inside, I think this is the inside, be red. And press OK. Of the outside be yellow. Or maybe a little yellow orange even. Like that. That'll look pretty cool. And then that looks pretty good to me. We're going to turn off our title action safe. And then what we're going to do to make it a little, little more like um, Trap Nation is we're going to go over here in the effects panel and we're going to search mirror. We're going to add that to the audio and we're going to go right here and then do forward slash two, which will divide it by two and we'll mirror it onto the other side like that. Now I'm going to fix up this a little bit because it is bothering me a tad. Make it a little more even like that. And I actually think that the whole thing is um, slightly, just slightly over, not centered. So I'm going to try and center it like that. I think that's centered now. There we go. Go ahead and check it out by hitting the um, space button like earlier. Pretty nice. Now I do think in order to get a little more out of what um, the base is in this, we're going to go back into the audio and we're going to change the end frequency a little bit higher, like maybe like 500. Because I do think 200 from earlier was way too low. There we go. That looks pretty nice.
And if, if you guys are wondering how I make it like grow and get bigger or like um like pump um when on the base drops, then I'll show you guys that in the next episode. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to finish this up and make it final. So all we're gonna do is we're going to go up here in composition and we're gonna say add to render queue. Then we're gonna go it should automatically bring us to our render queue. There we go. And we're just gonna hit render. This shouldn't take too long, um, but it, unless you have a large file, but um, I have only like a 20 second file, so it shouldn't really take too long. It should show you um, like as you go what it looks like. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut until this is done, so because it'll take a little bit. It says seven minutes, so I'll see you guys when it's over. Okay, mine just finished, and as you can see up here, this is the file. And it, a lot of times it will try and convert it. I don't know where mine went. There it is. It'll have to try and convert it to a file that it can actually read, which may take another few minutes. Normally, at the same amount of time it took to render again, and sometimes a little bit faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and once again skip to when that is finished. So we'll see you guys then. As you can see, mine just finished. So um, it's a little bit uneven, but of course, while in editing, you'd fix that up and make sure it looked all nice. So I'm just kind of trying to go quickly and show you guys how it looks like in a short amount of time. So we'll go ahead and um, look what it looks like. Let's see. You can just press spacebar on a Mac or you can just go ahead and press the play button. I'm going to press spacebar because it looks cooler. Yeah, there we go. Wait, it was playing. What? Oh, sorry guys, it, it's it's very laggy for some reason. Probably because I'm recording, I have Adobe After Effects open, and this file's like a gigabyte. <laughs> so, let's try that again. Nope. There we go. Well, it, it's, it's really lagging right now, but I'll go ahead and show you guys this exact clip playing. Wow, it's, it's still trying to catch up. I'll go ahead and show you guys this exact clip playing uh, right now in the video. I am still talking over. Cool. I'm just gonna guess that turned out awesome. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this part. In the next part, I will be showing you guys how to um, make it so that the um, circle in the middle kind of like pumps and moves with the base, kind of gets blurry as well. So that will look awesome and it'll really add some quality look to your guys' videos if you guys make this so thank you guys so much for watching this episode see you guys in the next one if you want to figure out how to do that see ya